YouTube video. Um, not a lot's changed really. Um, I competed at the back end of last year with UK UP. Um, didn't place, just wasn't big enough in the under 80 kilo category, uh, weighing at about 67 kilo, but quite small compared to the uh, to the other guys. But that's that, that's done with. Uh, we're on to the next one. Um, no shows planned for this year, aiming towards next year now. Um, we're aiming to build as much, much as much muscle and uh, and size as possible. Um, yeah, so not a lot's changed. Um, a few people have requested that I get back on doing YouTube videos, workouts, stuff like that. Um, so I thought I'd get back on it for you guys. Um, today we're training a delt and a hamstring session. And I'll take you through that with me. Um, we'll see where that goes. So all I'm doing here now is, is I'm going to make my um, intro, intro workout drink in the uh, strawberry water. I mix two scoops of CMP cyclic dextrin into there. That gives me about 50 gram of carbs into a into workout. Um, Pre-workout at the moment, moved on to uh, Stimulax from uh, Storm Sports, bought this from Inside subs, see that there. Keeping it nice and local. They're a, a local company to me in uh, in Leeds and Bradford, so just keeping it local by buying through them. Um, but yeah, we're just making the drink now, and then we're ready to go. So that's 
the uh, that's the pre-work I made. Like I said, I'm using Stimulax by uh, Strom Sports at the moment. However, recently I have been using um, Atomic Bomb by Max Muscle. Um, I just fancied a change, to be honest. I've heard some good stuff about Stingy Max. I've had two sessions on it so far. Um, pretty decent sessions, got some PBs out of it. Um, so for now, we're going to stick with Stingy Max and see what we can get out of it. Number one tip for when you're making uh, drinks into big bottles, get the top. Of a, of a shaker slides into the top of the bottle, it's basically a funnel. Drinks made, intra workout, strawberry flavoured water with two scoops of cyclic dextrin, about 50 grams carbs, and Stimu Max as a pre workout. So, yeah, we're gonna head off now anyway, we're gonna go to the gym and we'll see, uh, we'll see you in there.
So that's delts and hamstrings all trained. I wouldn't normally put them together, um, but just how my training's fallen this week, I've been able to put them together. Uh, two areas that I'm looking to, to bring up for stage next year. Um, you'll have seen that I did a lot of side raises during um, that session there. Um, I did that because my front delts are quite dominant when I do a push day or a chest day. Um, so I don't really need to overload them if I can do a, another session on delts. Um, and my shoulders seem to be growing from side raises as to, to pressing all time. Um, I have got a little bit of an injury in, uh, in my right delt, uh, just on the outside going into my chest. Um, got a bit of a tendon, tendon injury in there, um, which I'm getting sorted out. Um, but yeah, the, on, the only things that I've changed with my, my training, like you'll have seen, is I try to go heavy on the first set, and then my second or third, rarely do I do a fourth set, um, but my second and my third set, if I'm doing three sets, um, are either a double figure back off, a rest pause, or a drop set. Um, just to keep the intensity there. Um, apart from that, the only other thing that's changed is that I train, as you'll have seen, I train fully clothed. I train in a baggy jumper and joggy bottoms. I do, I do this because <clears throat> previously when I've trained, I get too hooked up on looking for a pump or seeing if something's pumped. Um, and I've been training like this for about six to eight months now. And it's, it just makes me feel better because every, every repetition that I do, I'm looking to feel the muscle instead of seeing it. Um, so yeah, I train fully clothed now. Um, I don't, I don't want to see, it's very rarely that I'll train in a t-shirt. Uh, sometimes I do towards the end of the session. Uh, but like I said, I always train in a, in a baggy jumper and uh, joggy bottoms for that reason. So I'm not stood in the mirror. Um, trying to look for a pump, I just rather feel the, the muscle connection. Um, so I think that's it for this video to be honest. Um, I got anything else to bring you today. Um, I'm going to try and get a few more videos out now and then. I might try and get one out at least once a month. Um, but if there's anything you want to know or anything you want to see, um, just drop me a DM, add me on Instagram, um, leave a comment below. And yeah, just let me know. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you take something from it. Um, but like I said, if you've got any questions, you know, DMs are open for you to uh, to ask away. So I'll catch you next time.